Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm obviously in my car right now. I'm actually outside of Trader Joe's and I'm about to run in. So I, I love Trader Joe's. I actually have not been in like kind of a little a little bit of a while, a little while. <laughs> um, and there are certain things that I absolutely love to pick up from Trader Joe's like specifically. And I don't necessarily love to do like all of my grocery shopping there just because there's like other stores in the area that I just prefer to do like my main shopping at you know what I mean um, but there are certain things that I absolutely love to pick up from Trader Joe's and since I haven't been in a while I need to like stock up on all of that stuff so I figured this would be like a great video opportunity so I basically can show you like all of my Trader Joe's staples because like I said there's certain things that I really like to get from Trader Joe's specifically so I'm gonna run in and grab all that stuff but I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what your Trader Joe's staples are like things that you like to get only from TJ's because let's be honest Trader Joe's is like a gold mine of like the most amazing stuff like they have the best food products and just like random stuff that you can't get anywhere else so let me know down below like what your favorites are because I'm curious because there's no way I have like fully tapped into the amazingness of Trader Joe's I mean there's just so much it is like a gloomy rainy day right now and I'm actually like <laughs> my feet are dragging a little bit but I've got my energy roller on so let's go <laughs> I just got home. Oh my god, Trader Joe's today was the craziest I've ever seen it. I mean, I knew it was gonna be busy and I was like mentally preparing myself, but I mean, every aisle was like you were basically in line, line of carts going both directions just to get through the aisle and like you had to wait for everyone in front of you to like pick out. Whoa, it was crazy. So I didn't film it all while I was in there, but I did just um, unpack, unpack everything that I just got. So I'm gonna go through and show you. It's really not that much stuff, but. This is like currently all the things that I love to buy from Trader Joe's and like specifically from there. So let's go. Okay, so very first Trader Joe's favorite that I always get there, salt and pepper. I love these salt and pepper grinders. Um, I love especially the pepper because it's like fresh ground pepper every time you pepper every time you use it. So I really, really like these and I've bought these like multiple times. Okay, another Trader Joe's favorite is their organic chicken stock. I actually picked up like three of these. I love this. Um, I just stock up on it and keep it like in my, um, you know, cabinets for whenever I need it to cook. I do sometimes make chicken stock or whatever bone broth from scratch. I do do that sometimes, but it's just not something, at least not right now, I'm in the habit of doing on like a weekly basis. So I do like to stock up because I really just like the one from Trader Joe's. The ingredients are good. It tastes good and I just really like it. Okay, so another cooking item I like to pick up is their peeled garlic. This just makes life a little bit easier. It's just like one less step. You don't have to like crush the garlic and peel it um, like the fresh cloves. And cooking with fresh cloves of garlic is always so much more tastier than like using garlic powder or even like the minced garlic in jars. I mean, it just makes a big difference. So I like picking this up because it just makes my life a little bit easier. Another thing I really like from there as far as to use for cooking is this... Trader Joe's 10 minute barley. We really like this. I like just grabbing like a couple every time I'm there and I just leave it in our cabinets and it's just nice like if I'm trying to throw together like an easy dish, um, this is just something I can use just to kind of spice it up instead of like just using rice or even like using this in place of pasta sometimes. I mean, it's just like kind of a somewhat different um, like grain to eat, you know, to cook with dinner. So I just like that and it's like really, really easy to cook. So that's also a plus. Okay, another Trader Joe favorite. It's more like this entire aisle, but I just picked up one thing for now. But that is their dried fruit selection. They have so much dried fruit and it is really affordable compared to like other places where I've seen it. So they didn't have the organic ones today. That's usually what I try and get, but I do love the mango slices. Oh my God, they are so good. I always try and get the, like I feel the packages. You wanna make sure they're like the softer they are. Um, the better like obviously they are dried so they're gonna be dry and kind of hard but the like softer they are just like the more like juicy and sweet they are um if they're like completely hard they just don't taste very good so i always like make sure to feel around a little bit but trader joe's has the best dried fruit and mango is probably one of my favorites i also really like the dried pineapple as well but you really can't go wrong because all of them are so good Okay, so next up is chocolate, which I cannot live without, and I have two chocolatey things that I love to get from Trader Joe's. You guys probably know, already know what the first one is if you've been watching my videos for a while. 
And that is the dark chocolate covered almonds. These are the sea salt and turbinado sugar ones. These are so unbelievably good. They have the best ingredients out of all of the other like dark chocolate covered almonds because they don't have that like shiny coating. It's just like real chocolate on there. So they're not as pretty, but they don't have any like of that um, stuff that makes the chocolate very um, like uniform and shiny. So, so, so good. Like these are actually kind of a little bit addicting, but I mean, I can't go like a day without a couple. They're just so good. They're like salty and sweet and creamy and crunchy all at the same time. Oh, they're so good. And then also I love um, just grabbing their dark chocolate. This is usually always by like the cash registers where you check out. And this is 85% cacao and it's just so good. I like having like a little square of this after lunch usually if I don't have these, but I just love a little something sweet, especially in the afternoon. That's like typically when I want this the most but I always make sure I've got one of these in um, our kitchen because it's so good. Okay, just a couple more things. This one is not something that I eat. It is actually, um, I say jojoba, I think that's wrong. I think it's technically yojoba oil. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I actually use this for my skin and I cannot live without this. I use it every single day. It's actually what I use to start to take off my makeup. I will squirt a little bit of this in my hand and I will just rub it gently, very gently all over my face just to kind of break up all of the makeup that I have on, including like my mascara. And then I will just go in with um, like a DIY, I make them myself, um, like uh, all natural makeup wipes that are really easy to make. I actually have a blog post on how I make them if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so I love this. It lasts forever. Like I cannot remember the last time I even bought this because it it's all I use it for. So it lasts for such a long time, but I absolutely just love this. And this kind of oil is, um, as far as I know, the closest to like the actual like sebum or like the natural oil that your um, face produces itself. So it's just like a very skin friendly oil. Um, they get along really well because it's basically what your face produces anyway. So love this. Okay, another thing I always like to grab from there when I'm there is the multigrain pita bite crackers. They have flax seeds in them. They're just really, really delicious, satisfying crackers, and I just really like them. The ingredients are pretty good as far as crackers go, so this is definitely something I pick up when I'm there. I love eating them with just cheese or hummus. They're really good with that too, so these are just like nice to have on hand for snacks. Okay, and then the very last thing that I grabbed from Trader Joe's is like my obsession and that is Spindrift. It is so good. I got the blackberry as well as the raspberry lime flavor. These are my two favorite flavors. They are so good. It's just sparkling water with like real um, juice added and I love drinking these in the afternoon like during my work day. It's just like a nice little... I don't know, a little pick me up. Um, I don't know, they're just delicious and I really like them. Or sometimes while I'm making dinner, I just absolutely love these. You can get them in bulk from Costco, which I've done before, but they come with like all of the flavors or almost all the flavors. And I'm not like super crazy about all of the spinner flavors, but I do really, really love these. So it just kind of makes more sense for me to spend a teeny bit more and buy them like just individually in the flavors that I like. But these are so good. Okay, so that is it. Those are all of the things that I absolutely love to pick up from Trader Joe's and pretty much nowhere else. Pretty short and sweet video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and please let me know down below what your favorites are from Trader Joe's because there are, I'm sure there are so many things that I haven't tried yet or I don't even know of that they carry and I would love to try because who doesn't love Trader Joe's? So definitely let me know what your favorites are. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.